approaching a new project, how do you uh, go about including representation? Uh, personally, in terms of uh, being able to write at DC, uh, I've been blessed to be able to touch characters that are canonically, um, you know, part of the pride spectrum. Um, but I think for characters that uh, aren't necessarily explicitly out, if there is ambiguity, then you kind of just push it as far as you can. I mean, that's just me, though. I want to make it as queer as possible. <laughs> Shalom and good day all. This is Tehillim29 back again for another DC comic review. And in this DC comic review, I'll be reviewing Dark Crisis, Young Justice, issue one of six. So first things first, I'll be covering the covers for this. Um, as I mentioned earlier this week, uh, I did order the second cover for this one, but there was a bit of a delay. Um, but I'm going to arrange to do something in regard to the cover reading, and that will be with showing the cover on the screen uh, whilst I'm doing this, whilst I give the cover rating. So I'll show, I'll give the cover rating for the first one, and then when I move on to the second, I'll probably bring in a bit of a time, uh, a countdown time. So in that countdown, you'll get to see the second cover, and after that, I'll be able to give the rating. So for this first cover, does it in any way, shape, or form connect to something that's happening inside of a story? Sure enough, it does, to which I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, I'm going to do that countdown now from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, hopefully, in that time period, you have seen the second cover go up. And it might even still be showing now. To which I give the second cover an 8.5 out of 10 because I actually like it a little bit more than the first one. Now it's time for me to show the internal R in relation to the story. Now this is some of the R in regards to the beginning of the story. And of course we have Cassie Sandsmark doing a lot of the narration here but of course there's discussions within the members of Young Justice and of course we have um, fraudulent John Samuel Kent there so New 52 John, John Kent there but I'll say one thing at least he well this isn't Joshua Williams and writing it because we know the person who's writing this is the person who also hates Tim Drake as well as the Young Justice group as well so I'll now move towards the middle as we start to move towards the middle uh, we can start to see that something is happening with the members of Young Justice and it looks like they're somehow caught in a very similar world to the uh, to where Barry Allen is, but in their own unique universes. I'll now move towards the end. As we start to move towards the end, uh, we finally get all three of them back together. So Bart, Tim, and Connor Kent. Now, I'll say one thing. I think when Fitzmartin is going to be working on this, we can expect a bit of a love triangle here. <coughs> Probably between these three male characters. She can't help herself. And of course, last but not least, more Cassie Sandsmark, Wonder Girl. So, for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10, but now it's time to move in relation to the story. 
Uh, did we get any comic references? No, we didn't. It wouldn't hurt to include it. Uh, moving into the next area being timed, which one of the things that came up was earlier. Uh, one thing we did seem to get quite a bit of in this was the area uh, in the area of locations. To which we had the Hall of Justice, we had Central City, we had Happy Harbour, we had Bloodhaven and Metropolis. We also had the Flash Museum in this as well. In that, the, the story executed quite well in regards to the area of location. But let's move into the next thing, which is the cast of characters. Cast of characters consisting of Bar Allen, Impulse, Connor, Kent, Superboy, Tim Drake, um, Ruined Robin, not Red Robin this time, it's Ruined Robin, uh, Care of Megan Fitzmartin, we had Cassie Sandsmark who was narrating the story, and no doubt I could definitely see that carry over into the next couple of issues. Uh, we had the New 52 John Kent. That's what I'm calling him. Uh, we also had Alfred appear. We also had... The Almighty Endowed. Uh, Double X. Uh, who was connected to... Superboy, and last but not least, we also had Nightwing. For the overall story rating, I gave it a 6 out of 10. No, it's not high, <laughs> but yes, it is low. So until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day. Yeah.